What is an oscilloscope and how does it work? An oscilloscope is an electronic instrument used for observing and analyzing electrical signals, typically in the time domain. It works by displaying a graphical representation of the voltage of a signal as a function of time, on a screen called a cathode ray tube CRT, or a liquid crystal display LCD. The oscilloscope consists of several main components, including the input ports, vertical and horizontal deflection plates, time-based generator, trigger circuit, and display. When an electrical signal is applied to the input ports, it is first passed through signal conditioning circuits such as amplifiers, attenuators, and filters to prepare it for measurement. The signal is then directed to the vertical deflection plates, which are responsible for producing the vertical displacement of the beam on the screen in proportion to the input voltage. The time-based generator produces a time reference signal that controls the movement of the electron beam across the screen. The horizontal deflection plates are responsible for producing the horizontal displacement of the beam in proportion to the time reference signal. The trigger circuit is used to stabilize the display by initiating a sweep of the electron beam across the screen at a specific point in the input signal waveform. This ensures that the waveform is displayed in a stable and repeatable manner, allowing the user to analyze its characteristics. The display shows the waveform of the input signal as a trace on the screen. The user can adjust the settings of the oscilloscope, such as the time base, vertical gain, trigger level, and trigger slope, to optimize the display and obtain the desired measurements and analysis. Basic components of a sensor, sensing element, signal conditioner, output signal. A sensor typically consists of three basic components. Sensing element. This is the part of the sensor that directly interacts with the physical phenomenon being measured, such as temperature, pressure, or light. The sensing element converts the physical quantity being measured into an electrical signal that can be further processed. Signal conditioner. The electrical signal produced by the sensing element is often weak and noisy, so it needs to be processed and amplified before it can be further used. The signal conditioner circuit is responsible for amplifying, filtering, and processing the signal to produce a more useful and accurate output signal. Output signal. This is the signal that the sensor produces as a result of its measurement. The output signal can take many different forms depending on the type of sensor, such as voltage, current, frequency, or digital signal. The three components of a sensor work together to provide a useful measurement of a physical quantity. The sensing element converts the physical phenomenon into an electrical signal, the signal conditioner circuit processes and amplifies the signal, and the output signal is produced as a result. By understanding the basic components of a sensor, it is possible to select the right sensor for a given application and to ensure accurate and reliable measurement. Understanding waveforms, amplitude, frequency, period, phase, Waveforms are graphical representations of electrical signals that are used to describe the behavior of electrical systems over time. Understanding the properties of waveforms is essential for working with electronic circuits and systems. Here are some basic properties of waveforms. Amplitude. The amplitude of a waveform refers to its maximum voltage or current value. In other words, it is the height of the waveform measured from its zero or baseline level. The amplitude of a waveform is typically measured in volts or amperes and is an indication of the strength of the signal. Frequency The frequency of a waveform is the number of cycles or repetitions of the waveform that occur in a unit of time, usually one second. The unit of frequency is Hertz, Hz, which represents one cycle per second. The higher the frequency, the more rapidly the waveform oscillates, and the shorter the period. Period the period of a waveform is the time it takes for one complete cycle of the waveform to occur. It is typically measured in seconds and is the reciprocal of the frequency. In other words, the period is equal to 1 divided by the frequency. Phase. The phase of a waveform describes the relationship between two or more waveforms that are oscillating at the same frequency. The phase is measured in degrees and indicates the time difference between the peaks or troughs of the waveforms. When two waveforms are in phase, their peaks and troughs occur at the same time. When two waveforms are out of phase, their peaks and troughs occur at different times. 
How to use an oscilloscope to measure and analyze waveforms. To measure and analyze waveforms using an oscilloscope, you need to follow these general steps. Connect the probe. Connect the oscilloscope probe to the signal source you want to measure. The probe is typically connected to the input port of the oscilloscope. Set the vertical scale. Adjust the vertical scale to ensure that the waveform is displayed with the appropriate amplitude. The vertical scale controls the sensitivity of the oscilloscope and determines the amount of voltage displayed on the screen per division. Set the horizontal scale. Adjust the horizontal scale to ensure that the waveform is displayed with the appropriate time base. The horizontal scale controls the time duration displayed on the screen per division. Adjust the trigger level. Adjust the trigger level to ensure that the waveform is displayed in a stable manner. The trigger level sets the threshold at which the oscilloscope starts displaying the waveform. Capture the waveform. Press the run button or use the trigger function to capture the waveform. Analyze the waveform. Once the waveform is displayed, you can use various tools and features of the oscilloscope to analyze the waveform. For example, you can measure the frequency, period, amplitude, and phase of the waveform. You can also use cursors and markers to measure specific points or intervals in the waveform. Save or export the waveform. Once you have analyzed the waveform, you can save or export it for further analysis or documentation. Common Applications of Oscilloscopes in Instrumentation and Electronics Oscilloscopes are widely used in instrumentation and electronics for a variety of applications. Here are some common applications of oscilloscopes. Troubleshooting Electronic Circuits Oscilloscopes are often used to diagnose and troubleshoot electronic circuits by analyzing the waveforms produced by the circuit. By examining the waveform, it is possible to identify faulty components or incorrect circuit operation. Measuring Signal Parameters Oscilloscopes can measure a range of signal parameters, such as amplitude, frequency, phase, and rise time. These measurements are useful in characterizing electronic signals and in designing and testing electronic circuits. Analyzing Digital Signals Oscilloscopes can be used to analyze digital signals, such as those produced by microcontrollers or digital circuits. They can display and decode digital waveforms, making it possible to diagnose problems in digital systems. Testing Power Supplies Oscilloscopes can be used to test and characterize power supplies by measuring the voltage and current waveforms produced by the power supply. This information can be used to ensure that the power supply is operating correctly and to identify any issues that need to be addressed. Testing Audio Equipment Oscilloscopes are commonly used to test and diagnose audio equipment, such as amplifiers and speakers. They can measure the amplitude and frequency response of the audio signal, as well as distortion and noise. Research and Development Oscilloscopes are used extensively in research and development of new electronic technologies. They can be used to investigate the behavior of new components or circuits and to test and refine new designs.